Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can keep score in your sprite catching game. So right now, my game, it will um, make it so that it detects whether or not I click the sprite. And if I do click it, then it says you caught me. But if I miss, then the sprite will say you missed. That's great. But I also want to keep score with this. So to do that, I'm going to actually create a variable. And that variable, I'm going to um, call the, I don't know, sprites caught, something like that. Cool. Sounds good to me. And that added that right up here. Great. Now, when I start the game, when I initialize everything, I want to set my score, or in this case, sprites caught variable to zero because I haven't caught any. So under a, a function called initialize, this is where you kind of put all of the things that you're going to like reset at the very beginning. So like I want to only make it so that the sprite looks left and right. I want to make it so that the sprites caught variable is set to zero. Simple enough. Okay. Now, inside my code here, if I click on the sprite, I want to change this by one. So I want to say that the number of sprites has moved one. And maybe I want to say when missed that the number of sprites caught has moved to minus one. So you can lose a point, something like that. Okay, so let's test it out. So change it to one, caught it, clicked outside of it, I missed went to zero. Awesome. So this code is working. Now I want to show you something else that you can actually add in here. We can check for high score. So to do that, I'm going to make a new block and I'm going to call the block check for high score. Fast typer. And inside of here, what I'm going to do is add in a conditional block, an if else block, that's going to check to see if our score is higher than our high score. So I'm going to need another variable. And this other variable is going to be called like the, whoops, most sprites caught. And I'm going to um, say that if my number of sprites um, caught is greater than, number of sprites caught is greater than the most number of sprites caught, then I'm going to set the most number of sprites caught equal to the number of sprites caught. Okay, mouthful, I know. Let me explain it real quick. Okay, so when we check for the high score, if our sprites caught is a larger number than the most number of sprites caught, which is our high score, then we're going to set what is essentially our high score to the number of sprites caught. Pretty easy, right? Okay, so we can also in here take the code that we previously had and make it so that we say something like, you caught me, and make a meow sound. Um, or if we do get a high score, then we can make a meow sound and say, not just you caught me, but new high score. So that way the person knows that they have a new high score. Now to run this code, all we have to do is after the sprites caught is changed by one, we just simply tell it to check for high scores. So check this out screen flag hey it said new high score but if i miss and i already catch a sprite and it's not greater than it then it just says you caught me make sense okay so to recap real quick you're going to make it so that when you um start you have your new sprites caught variable set to zero in your initialize function or a reset function whatever you want to call it and if you catch the sprite you can change it by one and maybe you can make it so that if you miss the sprite, you change it by minus one. You don't have to add that. And if you want to, you can add in another function that checks for the high score so that if your number of sprites caught is greater than your high score, then you'll set your high score to that number of sprites caught. If it doesn't make sense, watch this video um, one more time to see if it makes sense when you see it a second time or check out the quick reference guide for some helpful tips inside of that. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.